I had been an academic teaching in higher education at University of Washington and other places and worked with the U.S. Department of Education in implementing Title IX. And it really became important to me that I do everything I can, everything I could then to effect social change non-discrimination, making sure that um, our public schools, our higher education institutions treated women, treated girls fairly, and that girls and boys, women and men could achieve what they want and not have to deal with discrimination. What I needed to do in my heart was to really do all I could do is affect public policy, and that meant being in elective office. I think it absolutely is critical to have women in public office, just as I think it is critical to have people of color in public office, and people who have been low income, so that the legislature or a King County Council or a city council or whatever um, is able to be more representative of the public. Men are way more likely to just jump in. Oh yeah, I woke up today and I think I'd like to be a state senator or you know whatever and they just it's fine. It doesn't matter if they've had experience or what age they are or how much income they have. They're way more likely to do that. Where women are more likely to think, oh my God, I've got to be prepared. You know, I've got to learn all this. And, and women are more likely to make that plunge when they have support. And it's not as hard as you might think. I know that on the King County Council, council members Balducci and Perry and I do reach out. We go out into the community. We make sure that we are seen and that we uh, are hardworking and we are effective as women and other women can do that too.